Um, honestly, I, this year has really, uh, I want to say exceeded expectations, but coming in for my first year, I wouldn't have expected it to be like this, you know. Um, you know, the first year, the snub year, you want to call it whatever. I wasn't a part of the team, but I wasn't playing, but, you know, I was still a part of the team, so. Uh, no, um, you know, we, we, it's just a testament to our hard work. You know, going into summer, we thought we'd have a special year, and, you know, it's unfolding that way. So, you know, I'm just excited and glad for the guys that, you know, we're able to get it done. Well, right away, the fan support, um, you know, it's just amazing how the, the whole town comes out for all the games, no matter what. And, uh, you know, the winning, obviously, that actually helped, you know, the everything, you know, from the gym to everything we get, the gear, you know, everything. So... Everything was just a step up ahead of Central Connecticut, and it was really an easy decision for me. Uh, I would say mentally, I, I developed probably the strongest. You know, I'm learning the game more. You know, the coaches tell me stuff that, you know, I never knew before. So I'm learning the game, and I feel like, you know, I'm just becoming more of a leader, especially as a senior. So I just feel like the, the intangibles are all the things that I've got better at. If you're, uh, you know, winning culture, winning tradition, you know, great fan support. Uh, you know, it's just it's just everything you want to be a part of. You know, games mean something. You know, so it's just the great. It's a great basketball atmosphere. So there's really nothing you can do to beat that. Yeah, you know, there isn't much that we haven't seen. There isn't much that we're not prepared for. So you know, you know, we're gonna we're gonna be ready to battle with my seniors, and you know, we're gonna live or die with whatever happens. So we're gonna go hard every day, and whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, on the court, it's just his nose for the basketball. You know, I was with the guys like a week ago. We were joking around how, like, if you go down the court eight times, the is going to get his hands on the, on the ball at least five. So, you know, he has a great nose for the basketball. And it's just things you can't teach, you know. So all that matters, all the hustle plays he makes, you know, it's just so important for the team. And, you know, we're so thankful that he's able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he like as a leader? Um, you know, he's respectful, you know, everybody respects him as well because he's been here so long, you know, he knows what he's talking about, you know, he always leads by example as well, so, you know, it's easy to follow him, and if you're following the then you're following the right footsteps. I mean, like I say every time, you know, he makes everybody's job so easy, it's like, because he draws so much attention, he's such a great passer, he always puts his guys in the right spots, and, you know, he's easily the best player I've ever played with, so, you know, it's... It's just great to see what he does night in and night out. You know, sometimes I just want to watch instead of playing with him to see what he's going to do next. But other than that, yeah, he's just a great player. And I love playing with him. Right. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it, it definitely could get a little emotional, you know, essentially since the parents are going to be there. You know, my mom, all my sisters coming up. So, you know, last last college home game, especially here at Bonaventure, you know, Bonas is a special place. You know, like you asked earlier, I never would have expected it to be like this. So um could get a little emotional, but, you know, we'll see. Right now I'm fine, but yeah, we'll see what tomorrow's looking like. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's done everything for me. You know, if I didn't come here, I don't know what my uh, pro ambitions would be looking like. But right now I feel like I put myself in a good spot, you know, to, to play basketball in the NBA, you know, live out my dream. But if that doesn't work out, then, you know, go overseas, Europe. You know, I'm just trying to play basketball as long as possible. So I'm just thankful St. Bonham has just put me in a, in a real good spot right now to, you know, to live out my dream.